Hey everybody, Mr. O'Rourke here. Going to give you some tips on how, just kind of how to navigate Google Meet. First thing, in all of my classes, you're going to get your Google Meet through your your Google Classroom page. The link is up here in this header on the very top of the stream page, your main, your your opening page of Google Classroom, and it says Meet link, and you just click that, okay, and that will take you over to Google Meet. Had to wait till the camera hooked up because that's where the microphone is. Um, so <clears throat> in here, you see there's a microphone tab. Turn off the microphone. Turn off the camera if you want to. There's some settings that you can turn on before you get there. Um, you know, a couple different things you can do there. And then finally, you just hit join. So I'm going to do that. Sorry for the delay there. I had to wait for my webcam to sync up with Google Meet. And um, so now you're on Google Meet. Um, you'll notice there's lots of buttons. Um, my <clears throat> setup is a little different than yours because I have an extension on here that allows me to put in breakout rooms. And that just changes the bottom here where I can put, turn the speaker on and off, um, the microphone on and off, and I'll turn that speaker off if I want. Um, I can turn on and off the camera. You can turn on your microphone. You can either turn on the microphone two ways. You click on this microphone, or if you just hit your space bar real quickly, like you have to you know, you know, ask me something or um, you want to just uh, answer a question real quick, you can go in there. Um, the other things to do is down here in the bottom right, you'll see these three dots. Um, there's some stuff down there where you can go in and change the layout. Click on that. You see there's some three different things. I would just keep it on auto. Auto is tiled, so um, that will allow you to see all your classmates, or at least most of them. Um, the other things you have down here is full screen. You can turn on captions. You can use your phone for audio if your microphone on your computer is a little wonky or whatever. Um, and you can click on the settings, which is the only other thing. That will tell you what microphone it's using, uh, what speaker you're using. Uh, the video will tell you where the video is coming from. You can... If you know how to play around with that, I would just leave it on uh, where it's at um, and be done with that. The only other feature that you're really going to be using, and I want you to use this a lot, I'm going to encourage people like crazy to use the chat. And the chat is right up here. If you look at this little like captioning button, you click on that, that opens the chat. You can type in messages here. So what, uh, you know, there, something like that. You post that, it posts in chat. This is going to be the best way to ask questions in class. Uh, to stop me if, if you need, if you're not sure on what's going on, especially in the middle of a Google Meet, uh, because those of you are online, I'm not really going to always be able to see you um, talk to me. So um, that's where we got to go with that. So then um, the chat function, you're going to use that a lot. That's how you can communicate. You can also use it to start a class. I'll allow you to say hi to your classmates, and I will ongoing chat while I do things like attendance and get ready to go. But once I get going, then we've got to be focused on class. Um, to leave Google Meet, you simply click um, the, the leave call button, and uh, that takes you out of Google Meet, and it'll bring you back to like this main page here. Um, and so that's how you use Google Meet. Um, and I just wanted to give you that quick little tutorial.